Hi you guys, it's Alyssa and I am back with another reading. So today's topic is, um, do they know how I feel about them or about our situation? So as you can see, we only have two options today, which is kind of unusual for me. Y'all know I always have at least three groups to choose from, but um, today I just, we just got two. Um, and that was not my choice, um, but that's what we're going to work with. So each of these readings are going to be a little bit more generalized than usual, just because there's going to be more people that it's they're going to be um, applying to, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, and I'm hoping to keep this pretty quick, short, and sweet. Um, so... Group number one, we've got nature, and group number two is compassion. All right, and um, these are from my Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck, um, if you are interested in these cards. Um, so go ahead and make your decision, meditate for a hot second, and... Um, you know, the uh, whether you're drawn to the images on the cards or the number, or you can go down and look at the timestamps. Sometimes people are um, drawn to, like, the, the, the time that the reading starts, you know, whatever, however you do this, whatever you feel um, drawn to. So go ahead and make your choice, and we're going to go ahead and get started with group number one. So I'm going to put this card off to the side and put this one up here. Okay, so group one, does your person know how you feel? Let's see. Does group one's person know how they feel? Safe for you to love. Oops. We have healing family issues. We have reconciliation. Okay. So right away, I am seeing that this is somebody who has probably stepped away from you, who's probably stepped away from a lot of people or things in their life um, in order to heal from something. Um, I'm just sensing that this person has a lot of old wounds, right, that, um, just kind of were left unaddressed and it got to the point where it was just like, these problems were just kind of building and building and building inside of them, like these emotions as a result of these, these wounds, right, and, um, it just got to the point where it was kind of like they just couldn't they couldn't ignore it anymore okay um they kind of had a, a moment where they realized that they had to do something they had to start making changes um in order to in in order to live to live the kind of life that they want to live um let's see oh my gosh a bunch of cards fell out we have the sun We have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. So, a lot of Earth energy here. The person you're dealing with, of course, could be an Earth sign. Taurus, Le uh, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn, but they don't have to be. Um, whatever their sign is, though, I'm just seeing that this is someone who has... Who, who takes a long time... Um, 
to to do things um, or to make decisions or it could just be that um, they've been taking a while to work through these issues that they have okay so but do they know how you feel about them um I think so I'm gonna pull out more cards um, and we'll see what those say, but at this point, I think yes, um, because I just feel a lot of, like, very loving energy from these cards, especially with the, um, the sun card. This is the most positive card in the deck, you know, um, and then the six of pentacles, which is, like, this is a card that speaks of generosity, you know what I'm saying? And also, for me, it's about communication a lot of times. Um, so it feels like this person knows that you have love for them. I'm assuming you have love for this person, otherwise this reading's not for you. <laughs> um, because there's just, there's a lot of loving energy here. Um, and with the Two of Pentacles, this card actually, um, recently has become kind of a twin flame card for me. Um, not saying that this is necessarily your twin flame, but it just feels like the two of you have a very strong connection, and it feels like, um, I'm seeing, like, that you kind of mirror each other, you know what I'm saying? Um, you are a reflection of one another in some ways. Uh, so, this person's been doing a lot of work on themselves and kind of just sorting their life out overall, um, which is a good thing, and I feel like they are, um, they, they're, they're seeing success in their, from their efforts, um, because it feels like this was someone who probably was very reserved, that they had a lot of reluctance to, um, open up and let, let you or anyone else in, um, but it feels like they are coming more into this space of understanding that they are safe, right? And understanding that if they, you know, if they want to be loved, they have to understand the risk involved and they have to be, they just have to be willing to take that risk, you know what I'm saying? So let's see what other cards want to come out for this. We have the Page of Cups. We have the seven, oh, the eight of cups. We have strength. And we have the nine of swords. Yeah. Um, so I definitely feel like this person, um, Like I said, there's a lot of love here, and I definitely feel like this person wants to, they want to, I feel like they want to be a part of your life, because we have the Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, um, and I think they are, you know, they're, they're working, they're, they're, um, gaining the strength to, uh, kind of come come out of hiding not to say that they're really in hiding but you know um like I said at the beginning it feels like this person has just stepped away from a lot of things they've just kind of stepped out of the light and um they've been taking time to focus on themselves right and I think a lot of you have felt like they have completely moved away from you um and to an extent they have, you know, by necessity, but I don't think that they, um, 
I don't think that this separation is by any means permanent because we have the reconciliation card that came out, right? Um, so it feels like, you know, if this person's not really in your life right now, it feels like they're going to be in the future. Um, because I definitely feel like they want to be because I feel like they, okay, they know, I think they know how you feel about them. However, they may not be aware of the extent of your feelings or they may have doubts because we have the nine of swords, which this card is the anxious card, right? For me. And it can be an indication of doubt. So it's like they know, but sometimes they, they doubt it because they just feels like this is somebody who maybe, um, has never really experienced like unconditional love before so they don't really understand like they don't really understand the idea of you know love just for the sake of love if that makes sense um okay I'm gonna pull out some of these Moonology Oracle cards now, just a couple, just see what they have to say, because I feel like they want to add something. Your commitment is being tested and expect powerful change. All right, so, yeah. Um, you kind, Some of you guys are... Um, kind of committed to uh, waiting on this person or committed to holding out hope, at least for this person, um, to make the necessary changes and, you know, come back so that they can be a part of your life again. And um, basically this is saying like, if you really, if, if, if you, um, if you care about this person and, and you, uh, you're really serious about wanting them around, this is saying like this, you know, your, your commitment to this individual is being tested right now. Um, also expect powerful change. This is new moon eclipse. So definitely this person is undergoing the changes that they need to be undergoing right they are um they're taking the the necessary steps towards healing from their past and um i'm hearing uh creating or um developing unconditional love for themselves because feels like feels like they've never really had that before okay um so yeah, I, I, I think your person definitely knows how you feel about them, but they just they just may have some doubts sometimes. They might doubt it. Um, but at the end of the day, I think they, they, they definitely know. Um, and it, it, they, might not, they might not even consciously be aware of it, but it's like their higher self finds ways to remind them or to, to you know, put that put that thought in their head. You know what I'm saying? Um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, so let's see. I, I, I kind of want to pull out an advice card, like for you, just see if there's anything that you can do at this time. And there may not be, you know, Have faith in your dreams. Okay. Yeah. Just, just, um, keep your, keep the faith. Um, have faith in this person's ability to do what they need to do. And, um, I mean, that's really it. <laughs> that's really all I'm getting for you guys. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of, uh, 
this is this is lovely this is like a really nice energy it's it's like i said it's very there's a lot of love here um and it goes beyond you know it goes it goes beyond like normal relationships it very much feels like this is someone that you are really deeply profoundly connected to it's almost like <clears throat> I, I don't want to say with certainty that this person is like your twin or anything like that, but it almost feels like you and them are essentially one in the same. It's like you're the same person for some of you. Um, this is obviously general, so that's not going to apply for all of you watching this. And, um... Because it is general, it's um, in in no way meant to resonate with every single person who sees it. So if this reading didn't resonate with you, maybe try a group two. And if that one doesn't resonate with you either, then I'm sorry, this this wasn't the video for you. Um, <clears throat> okay, so group number one, that's your reading. That's really all the that's really all I'm getting for you guys. I hope that. It did resonate, and I hope that it was helpful to you. I hope it gave you a little bit of insight into what's going on in uh, your situation with your person. <clears throat> so we're going to move on now to group number two. Let me take a sip of my drink. I have to go to bed in less than an hour, and I'm drinking soda, so that's really smart of me. Okay, we have the energy is gaining momentum. <clears throat> we have it's time to release negativity. We've got, don't let your past hold you back. Okay. I feel like I need to pull one more. I said one. All right, balance spirituality and practicality. Okay. So let's get some tarot cards now. All right. There's the world. There is the two of cups. Five of pentacles, nine of wands. So feels like you and this person have a bit of history together um and it feels like i, I, I want to say it feels like you have history but it doesn't feel like i don't get the sense that you've ever actually been in a relationship with this individual it just feels like you know um Maybe you've been trying to get with them for a while now and things just keep not working out for whatever reasons uh, or something like that. But it, it feels like there have been things going on in both of your lives that have just been blocking the two of you from getting together, you know? Um, because we have... I'm, I'm seeing a lot of, like, cycles here which has been a, a major theme in a lot of readings lately. Um, we have the world, we have full moon in Scorpio and full moon in Pisces. So it's like, I feel like 
you and or the person you're thinking about have had a lot of experience with karmic partners. Um, and that's probably partly what has kept you apart. But, you know, karmic partnerships are necessary in order to teach us things, right? And it feels like one or the other of you... Um, for a long time was just closed off to learning, <clears throat> learning the uh, lesson that they were meant to learn. Um, but it feels like somebody has finally figured it out. It's like they finally gotten the message through their skull, whatever it is that they were supposed to learn from these relationships. <clears throat> and so now that karmic cycle is, is able to end. And something new, so that something new can start, right? Um, I feel like this, you know, we got the Five of Pentacles, so this person definitely has, like, left you out a lot, you know? You've probably maybe, like, ghosted each other or um, something like that. And also we've got Nine of Wands, which this tells me that um, this has been a journey that has been quite tiring. Um, and it feels like, you know, maybe you have, have thought about just kind of giving up on it because maybe it feels like, 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 it's never going to work out, so I don't know why I'm still thinking about this or whatever. Um, but it's a nine, and, you know, the nine is almost a ten, which is the ending of the cycle. Okay, so it's like it's like you're on the very last step to ending this whatever cycle you've been in in your life. Um, and, and the energy is gaining momentum, so it's like, it's going to be coming to a close pretty soon, okay? Quite uh, quickly. So, all right. Let's see, though. Does I'm, I'm not sure, though, if your person actually knows how you feel. So let's pull some more cards. Okay, we've got the High Priestess. We've got the Hanged Man. We've got Eight of Pentacles. Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right. Just give me one more. One more, please. Okay, Ten of Swords. There we go. There's our ten. There's the ending. So, the High Priestess being here, um, a lot of times she represents things that are hidden. Um, so, I feel like there's a good chance this person doesn't really know um, quite how you feel. I mean, I'm sure they're aware that you're interested in them, but they I feel like they don't know the extent. Um, sorry about that. My camera stopped recording. Um, anyway... So, it feels like this person knows that you're into them, but I don't think they fully realize, like, the extent of your feelings towards them. So, you know, that might be something that's kind of uh, contributing to this um, blockage, right? To the fact that you've not been able to... Um, get anywhere with this person but the ten of swords this is the closing of that cycle right this is the ending of that cycle of pain and um conflict okay that one or both of you have been in um we've got the hanged man so i feel like yeah i was saying whoever it is that was involved in all these karmic relationships has finally learned the lesson they were supposed to learn. So now they're able to have a new perspective. Okay. And it feels like, um, 
whoever that was, I, I'm not sure if it was you or them, or it could even be both, um, you've learned how to, you know, let go of some things from your past, and um, it feels like you're very much willing to uh, work for what you want, like, you've kind of, and I'm, I'm saying, like, general you, I'm, like I said, I don't know if this is you, the viewer's energy, or if it's your person, but it feels like you have figured out that, you know, a good relationship takes work, okay, and it's, you know, things aren't just going to be all peachy all the time, so I'm still kind of, like, It feels, though, it, it, it's kind of a fr frustrating energy because it feels like this person should know how you feel, but they don't. So, I don't know if maybe they're just an oblivious person or what, um, but I'm going to pull out a couple of these cards to see if they have anything to add. And I'm, I'm talking about, like, all of this other stuff, like, all the surrounding energy, just so that you'll know um if this reading is for you so we've got this could be the one we have pay attention to the red flags and we've got reconciliation so group one also got this card um this person feels like they're probably quite wary of um, maybe you specifically, but um, also it feels like they're wary of just people in general because it seems like they've been burned. <laughs> okay. Um, but there is interest. There is interest. They have a lot of interest in you and um, feelings towards you, but I feel like they don't know that you that it's mutual. You know what I'm saying? It just feels like, and some of you, I I all, can already hear you, are like, "What do you mean they don't know it's mutual?" I've been beating them over the head with the fact that I like them. Well, you know, some people are just dumb and they just don't know. You got to really spell it out for them. <laughs> um, so it kind of feels like it could be that kind of situation. All right. Um, <clears throat> but we have reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. So it, it feels like you and this individual are, um, feels like whatever blockages were present in the past are being removed, okay? Um, like I said, I think you're kind of still at this nine stage. So, you know, there's just one more step to get to the ten when this cycle can close and these blockages will be removed, right? Um, but, I mean, you're close. You're almost there. So if... Uh, if this is a person that you want, I feel like, you know, you're going to be presented with an opportunity to get together. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, you might want to uh, let this person know, like, actually how you feel and what you, what you want from them, okay? I feel like I need to pull out one of these cards. I didn't pull one for the first group, but... Um, they have something they want to say to you guys specifically. What do you want to say to group two? We got let go. Okay. If some of you guys um, have been holding on to this situation um, too tightly. And that has contributed to the blocks that are present. Um, because when you hold on really tightly to your expectations for something that actually does block your energy and it prevents the thing you want from actually coming to you. You know what I mean? So it feels like some of you, not all of you, but some of you have been holding on a little too tightly to this person and it's blocking both of your energies. So you've got to let go a little bit. You gotta, 
Gotta loosen up those reins. Okay. Um, anything else? No? Okay. Well, group two, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I'm getting for you guys. I hope that was helpful and I hope that it resonated with you. If it didn't, um, sorry about your luck. Maybe next time. Um, and like I said, I talked so much about the surrounding energies just so that you guys would know if this reading, um, is for you. Okay. So guys, that's about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, leave me a comment, leave me a like. Thanks again for watching you guys. I hope I see you next time. Bye.